Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome to Animus, the draft building card game. Everyone, it is time for some long awaited Animus gameplay. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off uh, the Nemesis. Uh, this is a playtest Nemesis uh, build uh, and Nemesis uh, is a multiplayer co-op mode for Animus uh, which Animus normally is a two-player game and there is a multiplayer variant coming uh, but here we're gonna have a multiplayer uh, co-op multiplayer variant um, and it's gonna have these uh, computer controlled or AI controlled uh, uh, minions and Nemesis cards that we're gonna be facing off and otherwise it plays very similar to a regular two-player game um, and uh, this board looks very chaotic with so many spaces on it but really the only thing you need to worry about are these spots that you can actually read when you're sitting down and facing uh, so we're sitting here in the blue spot we're only worried about these blue spots and uh, these uh, black nemesis spots in front of me all right so if you're not familiar with the game the base rules are going to be in linked in the description uh, this is a playtest build so not everything is final and uh, the rule book for the nemesis set isn't quite finalized yet so there may not be a link there yet but when we finalize it uh, uh we'll, we'll put that up um but i think you'll, you'll pick up on it uh, uh pretty easily um also over here you see a section that says dead minions and dead characters um normally characters don't permanently die but uh, i will be play testing a a um roguelike legacy version where characters can permanently die and all that uh, but we'll talk about that uh, another time um anyway first thing we're gonna do we're gonna set up so we're gonna uh shuffle up the nemesis and we're gonna draw one and that's gonna be the one that we're gonna face uh for the game and so we have a winter echo here the inquisitive necromancer ongoing when any minion is placed in a discard place it next to this card these cards still count towards the player's victory goal reaction when there are three cards next to this one randomly place one on top of the nemesis deck and the rest in their discard subtracting from the victory goal uh, so that's gonna go over here where it says nemesis card and um um, what it's gonna do is just every time the minions die uh, or basically every third one she's gonna resurrect one so that's gonna be a little bit of a pain all right and then we're gonna take these uh, uh, minion cards now there are 36 of them uh, we're gonna go ahead and shuffle and we're gonna uh, oh I don't have my overlay uh, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and split the deck here uh, so there's 18 cars there and we're gonna go ahead and split I could have probably done that better but we're gonna split it again and there should be nine cards there the rest of these we don't need so we'll put those back uh, make sure these are shuffled up and we'll I don't have a spot yet for it but we're just gonna put it up here and we're gonna use this counter to keep track of the uh, points uh, that we earn against the nemesis so we'll win if we get to 10 points uh, we will lose if we if there's 10 points in our discard pile all right, so the nemesis is ready. They have nine random cards, which we have no knowledge of what they are. Um, and we're gonna have to draft our deck um, kind of just based on only the knowledge that she's gonna be resurrecting stuff, which doesn't help us very much. Uh, maybe we want a lot of extra uh, damage or maybe extra healing to outlast her. All right, so the way the drafting works in this mode is a little bit different. In the two player mode, you usually have um, uh, usually have uh, a tableau of cards that's uh, it's a little bit more elaborate uh, but for uh, this mode we are just gonna do a very simple draft where we're gonna draw three cards and we're gonna pick one of those three uh, to put in our deck and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over here because we actually have a little drafting area right here where we'll put our draft picks so let's see here we got Savage Darkwood, Lixia and Jackie Maldito well, was my first pick I almost certainly want to go with Lixia here uh, she has a reset ability which uh, select any card and play and remove one damage from it um, so by s uh, simply putting this on, a, on the bottom of my deck that's called a reset uh, I can heal any card and play um, so I almost certainly will pick that over just about anything else that I, that I have here even though Jagio is good here as well actually that's a very strong card uh, that might be a hard one to pass but Lixie is just uh, actually before we do that I, I, I skipped a step we are supposed to draw uh, randomly uh, draw two um, uh, 
entities first. Um, and actually, um, so we got Lilith here. Once per game, I may discard a card from my hand and select the card of my discard pile and put it into my hand. Or I can take the Fallen Angel once per turn when one of your cards receives damage and would be killed. You may remove that damage to another of your cards instead. So we're supposed to uh, have made this choice before uh, drawing cards. So uh, I'm going to go with Fallen Angel because this is uh, I just added this ability to her. So I do want to play test it out and see how it is. I apologize if it ends up being broken. Uh, the nemesis that or the entity that we are not using just goes uh, goes away and uh, the backs of the entity cards are reference cards but uh, we're not gonna need it all right so uh, this just means that basically I'm gonna be able to spread out the damage on my cards and make them last a little bit longer so that's kind of good so I think going with uh, e even extra healing with Lixia is gonna be good uh, it, that didn't change my my pick I, I still was gonna pick Lixia uh, first uh, and then the other two cards that uh, I'm not uh, I'm not taking we'll just uh get discarded uh, let's let's just put a discard over here all right and we're gonna draw three more and we got Sam Armitage. Uh, this card requires one extra damage in order to be killed. All cards uh, die once they get three damage. Uh, so she requires four. Uh, Mythia, look at a player's hand, choose a card and reset it. That's actually pretty good. And oh, I really like Neutrino though. Place this card on the bottom of your deck. You may only do this if you have at least one other card in your deck. Um, and by doing, basically what that does is he leaves the field and goes back into my deck, but that essentially heals him um, completely. Um, but I think because I have Elixir, the ability to heal a card and then I can uh, pre basically uh, prevent a card from dying, I think Sam is a good option here. And she's red type um, and she's a melee and this one's a uh, thing. So I, I, I think Sam Armitage the the pick there. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. And all the other cards were, were good, but... Uh, uh, go there now I because I have no knowledge of what our opponent has uh, I'm gonna try to draft as balanced the deck as possible as between the three different types all right so I don't want raw here because he's a red type and he's uh, uh, four in melee and I already have a four in melee here uh, I don't really need another um, so I'm looking at either brick uh, who's very good when one of your cards receive damage you may assign that damage to this card instead that could work really good with fallen angel although Fabiola here is I may remove a number of damage counters from any cards up to the number of cards in my discard pile um, I think with fallen angel my cards are not gonna be dying as much especially with the healing and all that um, and I like the idea of uh, putting stuff on brick and he could be filled up and then uh, fallen angels ability could trigger and still keep him alive so I will pick that and he's a blue type that's good in melee uh, we'll just go put that there and then the rest uh, will go away Right, we'll draw three more and we're drawing we're we're, we're going until we have nine cards so um uh, let's see uh Raiko and Karita while this card is in melee position your other cards cannot be attacked that's a uh, very good uh project 16 uh, I can kill this card by placing my discard and select the card and play it is automatically killed um in this mode that's very useful because the enemy um generally has very very powerful cards that we may want to get rid of um blaze is also good here uh, but we have all three are green type and I I'm leaning towards going with project 16 um, while this car is in me because the other cards cannot be attacked that's kind of good but I have two, already two very strong melee characters um, I think we're gonna go with Blaze is actually really good too. He can have a really good explosive turn, um, but I think Project 16 is the is the pick here, um, and she is a green type. We'll put it there. She's our melee green. All right, and we'll put there. So for red, green, and blue, we basically have our chosen melee guys. So we want to kind of, or the rest, we want to keep select either melee, uh, rain flank attackers, or uh, or the ones that have even stats. And you'll see what I mean. So let's uh, draw our next three. We got Vando Yakenza. Uh, place one damage on an opponent's card in play when he dies. Uh, he's a 3-3, which is really good. Ninian Pelinor. Place one damage on all the cards in play. Um, I think that's not going to be... Although this is a very good card. I don't think it's going to be good with the Fallen Angel because we're going to be trying to keep our cards alive. And so I think that would really hurt us. Chuvia here. Uh, place one damage on an opponent's card then one, and then one damage on this card. Um, does that combo well with Fallen Angel? When your card receives damage, 
damage and would be killed. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't say that it can't be damage uh, that is being dealt to itself. So Juvia could be really strong with uh, Fallen Angel here. And this guy is only good if he dies. And we don't want our cards to die. So I think we're going to go with Juvia here. And she's a 3-3, which makes her uh, just about good in just about any slot. So we'll take her as our next pick. And uh, we'll get our next three here. And we've got, what, three, three more picks to go. Uh, we got Radilexian, Zen, and Jace Freeborn. Now, Zen is almost always a top pick because um, his ability is so powerful. When he dies, anything, whatever killed him, he kills. Um, and he is extremely strong in melee, but he's very weak in, in, in flank attacks. But that doesn't matter because we're fine with him dying because he'll kill whatever killed him. Um, but we already have a strong red melee attacker, so we kind of don't really need him. Let's look at what else we have. We have Jace Freeborn. He's a blue card. He's good in range. This card does not receive damage in combat if the combat totals are equal. That's uh, unreliable, I guess. Uh, Radalexian here is a blue melee, but he can heal himself. Um, hmm. That could be useful with all the rest of the healing that we got going on. I mean, it looks like we're we're going with a straight healing build. Um, I actually think we're gonna pick that guy there. Uh, although we're doubling up on two melee guys in blue. Um, Brick is good if, if you put him back in support. Um, he can still use his ability. Um, so uh, I think that's that'll be. Uh, good here now usually I try to get three of each color one melee and then the two um, flank but um, Sometimes you got to go with what the abilities are All right, we got solar sunstreak another healer uh, play remove up to a total of two uh, Damage from cards and play now mind you, but uh, um, if you're new um, The cards none of the cards repeat abilities. So everything's gonna be a unique thing including the uh uh, the nemesis cards uh, Gail lets me search my deck for any one card and place it into my hand um, Which is okay. She's a green range, which is good um, Willow Wisp is a red range which we could use But she's not very strong, but she does let us play an extra card for some tempo, but I think Getting the healing is probably the strongest thing here Yeah We'll go with that and then um, because we're going to be spreading the damage of, of our cards around and then healing it up uh, We're turning out to be having a very strong deck and I think this is our last. Nope. We got two more picks um, uh, I, I almost don't even need to read these cards because Dark Assassin is ordinarily already a high pick uh, Reaction when a tie occurs in any combat this card may place one damage on one of the combatants But he also fills a good slot for us. He's red and he's good at flank, which we need um, The rest Dark Moon. He's just okay uh, uh, At the end of the turn you can return this card back to your hand This ability is negated if this card has any damage on it So you can basically sneak in for surprise attacks and avoid uh, getting damaged um otherwise uh and then this card is actually really good this card may attack from support position fills in flank um but we don't need any more green cards so we definitely don't want that and dark moon's just okay um so uh dark assassin is definitely the pick there that's a good good one uh give us some opportunity for um some more damage and i think tenley's pro no no we we needed a blue card for our third pick and we did not join any blue card so we got jake knight went into the start of your next turn your cards cannot be attacked um tenley kerrigan switch the positions of any two cards and play control by one player i might actually go with that and then project six project 13 here ongoing will perform up to two switches on your turn that's really useful but more useful when it's versus a human opponent uh, because the enemies the nemesis doesn't really switch their cards around a lot um, so it means we don't really have much reasons to switch around that much um, but forcing the opponent to switch in this mode would be good and because it's a reset ability I can pretty much keep this card in my hand and it doesn't uh, mess up our uh, the fact that we have three uh, Red cards already. Although Jake Nightwind is good, I think I think going with uh, Tenley Kerrigan here is the better play here. All right, so we have our draft. Uh, so let's uh, let's put this away. Get rid of that. Uh, we'll uh, group our deck here. Flip it over. We'll shuffle it, and we're gonna put it uh, where our, where it says draw pile. All right. And then we uh, 
to start off, we draw four cards for our starting hand, but then we're going to reset one of them. Um, we don't want to... One of each color is good because we don't know what the opponent's going to play. Um, I think... Hmm. Either I'm either... I got to kick back either Red Alexian or Brick. Um, Brick can kind of come in later. I don't really want to br bring him in first. So I will... Yeah, we'll put Brick in later. Uh, so we'll put him on the bottom of our deck. And now we have our starting hand. One red, one green, and one blue. Um, although we don't want to start off with the red one. So hopefully we don't. All right, but the Nemesis always uh, takes the first turn. If you look the reference here. Uh, so the Nemesis always goes first. Uh, so they're going to... Uh, well, start of turn, we check to see if there's any start of turn effects. There isn't. And then they go into their tactical phase, which is to play a card. They always play a card. Uh, they always play a card. Um, and then they always play everything that the Nemesis does is is front to back left to right so it's going to put a card in melee position and it's a warden reaction when any minion in the same battlefield takes damage during combat place the damage on this card instead so it's kind of like brick um well it's very much like brick um so um um battlefield is basically talking about this so if there was another player it wouldn't take into account their cards here now i did mention that the cards are all unique um there are some cards that that uh the all the players cards are unique from each other but you're going to see some of the nemesis cards will have uh, similar abilities although they may have different stats and whatnot all right so the warden uh he plays the warden then it goes into his combat phase uh Technically, the warden could attack, but I have no card in play, uh, so it's just gonna uh, just swing and miss. And it is uh, a two four, which is two melee for flank. Uh, so I want to put a good um, melee attacker uh, uh, to her. So she's weak against green. Um, and then the the nemesis will end end their turn. So um, I could put Juvia, which is the only green card I have right now. Um, so it makes sense to put her. Uh, so I will uh, go ahead and play that card. And the combat ability is uh, instead of attacking, I could just place one damage on an opponent's card, then one damage on this card. Um, but but a three melee versus a two. Um, I have a slight number advantage, plus I have a dice advantage, uh, so we will definitely attack. Uh, so, uh, just so everyone knows, uh, the red die will always be for the nemesis, the blue will be always for me, and then the black die will be for whichever card has advantage. All right. Uh, in this particular case, I have advantage, so we're going to roll. Ooh, that is not good. So, she got a 6, uh, 7, 8. Uh, I'll take the higher, uh, so five, six, seven, eight. So it's a tie. So we, in it, in the case of a tie, uh, both cards will take damage. So we'll put a token. And again, once um, uh, once a card has three damage on it, it is killed unless something uh, stops that. Um, let's see. That was my attack, and I can reset a card if I want. You can always do that once per turn. But I think I like what we've got here, so we're gonna just uh, refill our hand. Uh, so I'm just gonna draw one card, and there's Sam, who's not good yet, but will be good very soon. All right, uh, we end our turn. It goes to the Nemesis. The Nemesis will draw a card and play it, and it's gonna play again, uh, front to back, left to right. It puts a warrior. This card is always placed in melee position, moving any previous cards further back. Well, now I'm caught in a lie that the Nemesis uh, doesn't switch. Uh, this is one of the few times that it does. So this warrior, um, by virtue of his ability, is gonna uh, move up, pushing the Warden back. Um, and he's a 4-2 and he's blue type and good against red. Um, so, oh, wait a minute. Uh, did I do something wrong? Uh, I did do something wrong. Uh, the warden was the one that actually had, uh, uh, advantage on that last one so she would have had the, the die but it, it didn't change anything all right anyway warden goes here he's good against red uh, juvia here is actually good against blue so now she has advantage um, so getting getting my own game wrong so here we go we're gonna uh, roll the dice um, he got a four plus five that's nine but she got a three plus five that's an eight that's not good so she takes the damage that's having some bad luck here 
all right uh and uh and then the warden attacks now the warden would attack if uh, the cards always attack straight if they can but because there's no card there she will attack juvia uh so uh she will be using a flank which is a four and she's good against green which is what juvia is so juvia i think is 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 gonna be down for the count here but let's see i'm gonna roll the dice I need to roll high. Uh, the nemesis always takes the higher die, so she got a four, five, six, seven, and I got a three, four, five, six, seven. Again, a tie. Um, so they both take damage. Uh, but since Juvia has, uh, can we grab that? Oops. Oh God. Uh, because Juvia has three damage, she is killed, and she's gonna go into our discard, and that puts us. Uh, up one point here uh, let's go ahead and throw these away please go in there all right we'll leave that alone all right and then the nemesis although but now this card is at two so that's that's good all right and then the nemesis ends its turn that's not good i mean i could have triggered this but i had no other card to move the damage to so all right uh let's uh oh we don't draw a card all right so start of our turn what are we going to put um, this guy good against red, so putting Sam is not a good idea now. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna go put Red Alexian. Um, yeah, it's about as good as gonna get. I don't have a very good. Well, this is not. This is. This is very much not looking good. I, I lost the card very early. Um, all right. Yeah, I could have put Sam, but then, you know, it's just she's in a in a bad spot. Although, hold on a second. If I put Sam, she shouldn't do well, she could die. If all three, because it's going to, the Nemesis is going to put another card. If all three succeed against Sam, actually, she won't die because she has the four health. She has the four health. Um, and then I can move the damage to Rad Alexian, and Rad Alexian could heal it. So maybe that's the better play, and I, I just hope to survive. The, the other option is just keeping the Rad Alexian in play, but I, 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 this, this might work. We'll put Sam, and we're, we're going we're gonna to hope. We, we got to kind of stall right now. Um, so this card requires one extra damage in order to be killed and I'm gonna choose not to attack because he has advantage um, And we're just gonna wait. All right, the nemesis goes And that's that's probably not a good play. All right, she puts a conjurer here death play the top card of the nemesis deck uh, So it's not gonna do anything. All right uh, Well, it's not gonna do anything right now All right, the warrior will attack and they always attack regardless if they have advantage or not He's good against red which uh, she is uh, so he has the advantage uh, So let's uh, roll that and I got a six which is really good So uh, I got a ten and he got a four five six So we actually won that combat which is very good That was one I, I probably uh, I, I should have lost but uh, I won it All right um, now the oh actually hold on when any minion in the same battlefield takes damage during combat plays damage on this card instead So the damage will go over here and then now the warden has three damage um so no don't take all of them uh that will go over here all right there's got to be a better way to do these tokens all right the nemesis we'll just make this the nemesis discard pile so that's one point um but we're gonna go ahead and put this like that uh so we can keep track of how many cards are uh, uh, the nemesis have because the third one will get resurrected all right, which means now that Warden does not get her attack, uh, but the Conjurer will attack. She's going to do a flank attack with her four. She's good against blue, which I'm not, but I'm a gr she, I'm good against green, which she is. So I will have the advantage die this time. Uh, so that is good, although I have a four versus two, so not so good. All right, let's see here. Uh, the Conjurer gets a an eight, and I got a two, three, four, five. So I definitely, I really didn't have any hope of winning that. All right, Sam takes the damage, but Sam's tough and can take it. All right, let's uh, get these cards out of these dice out, or tokens. No, I can't English right now. All right, um, that is the Nemesis turn. All right, back to me. Oh, I didn't draw my last card, my card at the end of my turn. 
you always draw at the end of turn so i got elixir here which is useful but um uh, what i gotta do here uh all these cards are worth one that's terrible all right well we gotta get rid of this warrior um what do we need against him we need uh blue types which i didn't draw i need my other what was the other blue card that i had uh not very good um hmm. sam isn't good in anything other than um melee but i think do we play the rat alexian dark assess is good against green um I could put Dark Assassin and try to work on killing the Conjurer and hope that uh, Sam can hold off the Warrior. I think I might do that actually. Um, do I dare? Now, the other option is I could uh, use Sam to attack the Conjurer. Um, I have Vantage. Mm, that might be good. You know what? We're, we'll, we'll do it. We're going to do Dark Assassin move please um so we're gonna put him and both of these cards are good against green maybe we can double team the conjurer and kill it uh and we'll worry about the warrior later although when we kill this play the top card the nemesis deck eh 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 all right well uh i've kind of committed so let's do well let's do the dark assassin first um he is attacking with advantage um, I guess he'll take the six and so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I got a 10. I could take the tie. No, that's not a tie. Um, so I win that because the dark assassin does like ties, but all right. So we did a damage to the conjurer and I think I'm going to take a chance. Do I want to take the chance? Uh, let's go for it. Uh, Sam will attack the conjurer. And the conjurer gets the five, right? So that's nine. Uh, six, seven, eight is the best I can do. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, so I take a damage there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset Lixia. Uh, so my combat is over. And my next tactical phase, I'm going to uh, reset Lixia, select any card and play, remove one damage from it. So I show it to my opponent. Uh, I put it on the bottom of my deck. And I can remove one damage uh, from that card. Okay, and um, that's it. And then I refill my hand. So I'm going to draw two cards here. And Project 16 is a pretty good one to see. She's good against blue, which we need. All right. All right. The Nemesis will play a card. The only spot open that they can play is over here. So it's an Artificer. All players must reset their hands and draw the same number of cards. Well, that's not good because I really needed, kind of wanted Project 16 here, but... Um, oh, but this is interesting uh, because this card here, reset. Now, when you have reset as a keyword, it means any time this card is reset, we can do that ability. So we can switch the positions of any two cards in play controlled by one player. Um, I think I want to switch the warrior, warrior. Oh my God, they're all level one cards. This is this is terrible. We want some higher point cards so we can uh, win faster. All right, um, shit, shit bits. Uh, do we want to, do we want to shift them? Um, there really isn't a re other than, ah, there's a reason. These two guys are good against, uh, the artificer. So yeah, we'll, we'll force these to switch. Um, again, breaking the rule that I said that the nemesis never switches. All right, and then we can choose the order that these get uh, uh, put back in. Um, I I want I want ooh. I want this card uh, sooner than later, so we'll put that first. Um, uh, same thing with this one, actually. We'll put those underneath. Uh, and then we draw three cards. We had three cards, right? Three. All right. He lets us draw, right? Uh, yep. All right. So we got Lixia back. We got Solar Sunstreak. Uh, am I at two? Nope. 
Did I take a damage? And then I healed it, right? Okay. Um, so we want to hold off on these. We could put brick. He's good against red, but we actually no. Do we want to put solar? That'd be a waste. A little bit of a waste. He's good against blue. He'll be good against the warrior. Um, I actually don't think I want to play a card right now. Although I could put put brick just to keep our the rest of our team alive. Yeah, we'll put brick, but we're going to put him. Do we want to put him back there? We'll put him back here. And hopefully that's not a mistake because he can use his ability to save our other cards from that back there. And hopefully we don't need him up front. All right, we'll go into our combat phase. Um, uh, Sam is going to definitely attack the artificer. She has advantage. Uh, so... Let's uh, go ahead and roll that up. And the artificer has a five. I got a four, five, six, seven. Uh, could I get a tie? Four, five, six? No. All right. So the artificer takes a damage. And then we're gonna we're gonna use the dark assassin to attack. Yeah, the dark assassin will attack uh, attack him also with advantage. Uh, this time the artificer has a six, seven, eight, while I have four, five, six, seven. Uh, off by one. I wanted that tie. All right. So unfortunately, the dark assassin takes a damage. I could move that damage, and I think I am. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assign that damage here. Actually, kinda doesn't matter uh, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna reset Lixia. I'm gonna reset Lixia. And heal a damage from, I guess, brick. All right. Now we got a good, strong setup. And then I'm going to end my turn by refilling my hand. And there's the ones we wanted. Cool. All right. The opponent goes. I'm hoping... Did we skip a... We skipped a step. We skipped a step. The, uh, the opponent was supposed to attack us, right? Uh, commenting and playing is hard. Um, they were supposed to attack us. Um, it wouldn't really have changed everything on my turn. So, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's do that now. The artificer would have attacked, uh, Sam here. So a, f stop I'm trying to grab these dice. Now let's move these over here. All right, so he would have attacked no matter what. Um, I am the one with advantage. Uh, uh, what does he got? Uh, seven uh, versus eight. So he take damage. Uh, then the warrior would have attacked Sam. And it would have been a two versus two. But he has advantage. So let's roll. And I might win this. Uh, he's got a two, three. And I got a five. So... There's that. And then the conjure would have attacked directly across here, giving me advantage. Um, what do we got here? Uh, that is a f nine. Uh, so Dark Assassin would have taken a damage from that. And then he would have been at a second damage, which I moved to Brick. And I think I would have still moved this to Brick anyway. And Brick would have been at two. And then I would have healed him um, with Elixia. So that is that is just fine. Actually, no, no, because Brick wasn't in play yet. So Dark Assassin would be with one damage on him. All right. And then my turn came. I did the attacks and all that stuff. All right. Now it goes back to uh, the Nemesis uh, turn that I had skipped. Um, he will put this next card here. All right. So the Nemesis played a Vicar, which... Uh, Choose any start of the turn, choose any moon with at least one damage on it and remove one damage. So fun. Uh, but she's out here in support position, so she can't attack us. All right, the artificer will attack, and hopefully, this is his death here uh, because Sam has advantage against him, right? Yes, stop grabbing the wrong card. All right, boom. All right, uh, I blow him away, right? Uh, 10 versus eight. All right, so the artificer uh, is killed. Uh, he goes over here. 
uh, but and it's gonna tick up one point uh, that forces the warrior to move up which forces the vicar up so which is good because now we can attack the vicar um, now the warrior will attack next he does have advantage versus uh, Sam so that's uh, no bueno here uh, and I think he won he got a 10 versus four five six seven, yeah all right so Sam takes damage I can put the damage on brick um, do I need I need Sam there I need Sam there so uh, we will put it on brick uh, we can heal all that stuff uh, then the vicar will attack uh, she's good against blue uh, Sam is good against green so Sam will have advantage uh, but uh, it is a four versus two so uh, let's see how this plays out uh, the vicar has an eight uh, and Sam only has a six so Sam takes another damage I am I am gonna put that damage on brick here right that's only two all right so th that's good and now the conjurer will attack and the conjurer is gonna attack down to the dark assassin uh, so four versus four um, but I have the advantage uh, advantage die uh, and yes I win so five versus eight uh, so damage to conjurer and that is their attacks all right it goes to my turn um, well I definitely want to play a card I probably want to play solar so I can heal but where, where do I put them well obviously I'll, the only spot here is here and He could help take out the warrior. I think that's that's the way to go here. So let's put Solar down. And I can remove up to a total of two damage from cards in play. Do I just heal it off from brick? Probably. Because anything else we could move move over, right? Right. So we'll just put that. We'll just heal brick. And hope that uh, the rest of the damage uh, go there. All right. Uh, do we attack? Are we resetting anything? Maybe. Um, Sam. Well, let's let's do it this way. Let's. Solar is gonna attack the warrior uh, with his range and uh, type advantage. Uh, should win that, right? Um, yes. So that puts him at two. Um, and then do we attack with I guess darkest I could kill the conjurer but I don't want that to get resurrected um, so we'll go for the warrior um, it'll be a four versus two but he has advantage but I, I, I still need to go for it I need to go for it yeah All right, so he's gonna take the six, All right? He has advantage, so six, seven, eight, and I got four, five, six, seven. Are you serious? Six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven. All right, so Dark Assassin will take the damage, but we'll put it on Brick. Um, and then because he's down to one, I, I, I wanna use Sam to try to kill him. So um, we're gonna take the chance, four versus four, but he has a type advantage. That's not great, but we need to we need to take the chance. All right, he's gonna take the three, so that puts him at seven. We're gonna take the four, putting us at eight. Um, so we kill him. All right, so a couple things are gonna happen here. So he's gonna go over there. Uh, this is gonna shift up because we always do front to back, left to right, and um, that means because now there's th th first this this ticks up, but it's not gonna matter in a moment uh so we're gonna take uh when there are three cards next to this one randomly place one on top of the nemesis deck and the rest in their discard um so uh we're gonna go doop, we're gonna group them we're gonna flip them over we're gonna flip them over we're gonna shuffle them and draw one we can't look at it and it's the it's the warrior he's coming back damn it um and then the rest are in a discard so he should be down to two points right two all right that was all of our attacks 
Um, do I want to reset a card? Um, too, having these many melee guys is not super great. Um, I actually may need Project 16 to blow up that Vicar. Did I play a card? I played Solar. Uh, we have two cards here. I do want to reset. Uh, I think those are my two reset cards too still left in there. Um, let's let's put Rat Alexian. I, I think I might use Project 16 to, to blow up. All right, and we'll draw two cards. It's our two reset cards, um, which having two reset cards is actually not always that great all right that was our turn uh winter echo goes she's going to play a card which is the warrior which again we know his ability he forces himself up but before that actually at the start of turn choose any minimum with at least one damage on it remove it would have had to be you um and then the warrior came out went up into melee and then the warrior is going to attack and he has advantage so let's uh roll that up Uh, that is, oh no, he, he has both the sixes. All right, so he wins against Sam. Uh, let's move the damage to Brick here. Uh, then the Vicar will attack. Uh, because Solar is over here, she will attack Solar. They're the same type, so no type advantage, and they're same uh, stat. So it's really whoever rolls higher here. So come on, get both dice. So come on, Blue. Nope, she wins that, so a damage to Solar. Fix my screen there. Um, and then the Conjurer will attack the Dark Assassin there. Four versus four, and I have the type advantage. So I should win this. Uh, a bunch of fours. So this is interesting. So she got a four, I got a four. Um, so that's a tie. So we both take damage. Uh, I'm going to, do I sign the damage to Brick? Um, hmm. Well, this is interesting. I want to keep Dark Assassin alive. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to sign the damage to Brick instead. And then we're going to use the Fallen Angel's ability. When one of your cards receives damage and would be killed, you remove that damage to another of your cards instead. And then we're going to move that damage over to Solar over here. All right. That keeps our guys alive. But because there was a tie, when a tie occurs in any combat, this card may place one damage on one of the combatants. Uh, so we will do that. So he does it that. Well, look, we're not going to put it on there. We know, we know she dies. But she has a death ability. All right. Her death ability is play the top card of the Nemesis deck. All right, well, first, uh, let's come over here, uh, put that into the discard pile. Let's fix our picture here, go up to three. Oh, and actually, goes out next to her because she may resurrect it. Uh, and then play the top card of the Nemesis deck. Uh, so it's going to go here, and f uh, the next available spot would be here. Uh, it's a ninja. Play and death. Each player must place one damage on one of their cards in play. Oh... Well, he's going to do a free damage to somebody. I could put it on Sam. I'm going to take a chance and put it on Sam. All right. But because it's technically still the Nemesis combat phase, because it, that all happened because of the attack here, the ninja actually does get an attack because he is in play in a in a appropriate position during the combat phase. So he will attack and he has advantage against red, which is what my dark assassin is. So he attacks three versus four, but he has a uh, he has a dice. Let me get rid of these tokens here. All right, we need a little luck here. Uh, I don't think we uh, three and four is seven, uh, four, five, six. So Dark Assassin takes the damage. And this time uh, we will keep it. We'll keep it. All right. Uh, our guys are 
teetering on the brink there. All right, now the nemesis is done. Okay, goes back to my turn. What do I want to do here? Um, we could force the Vicar into combat position with Tenli. Or we can uh, heal with Lexia. I kind of need to heal with Lexia. But I really would like that Vic. I really would like to kill the Vicar this turn. Hmm. I could use uh, Project 16 to kill it, but I'd be giving up three points for three points, and Winter Echo might just end up resurrecting that. Um, hmm. This is going to be a long game because of all these one point cards that came out. Uh, and I don't like sacrificing Project 16 as soon as we play her. So maybe. Can we take out this warrior? In one shot, no, because he's good against red, which is half my team here. Um, hmm. Uh, now, alternatively, if I put the Vic card, yeah, I, I kind of need to switch, uh, but it may mean my cards, a bunch of my cards, die. Huh. Or bite the bullet and just kill the Vicar now. This this is a tough choice. I think we need to heal. Sam could take another hit. Nobody else can take any hits. Um, and I'm afraid of a big cascading uh, turn here. Um, so let's re let's reset Lixia, um, and that will let me uh, remove a damage. Oops. Oh, there's no deck anymore. Come on. Go, go on top. All right. Um, and that will remove the damage from uh, Brick there. Because then we can always move damage. Uh, we can always move damage. Could you please go into the bag? All right. And then... Do I play something before combat? I don't think so. Because I think I just want everybody to just... I, I, mm. All right. We we gotta we gotta do it at some point. Mm, there is another idea. Let's put Project Sixteen down. Let's see how these attacks go. Well, no, they're they're not good against the warrior. That's the problem. That is a huge problem. All right, let's just. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I really hate doing this. Um, I'd rather let her get a few attacks in and get some damage on, but we gotta get rid of this Vicar. So we'll just discard her, uh, putting me at four. And what are you at? Um, and we automatically just kill that. All right, putting him at six. Let's just hope that doesn't get res resurrected. And then my attacks. Um, I think we keep everybody. Well, actually, we're going to do a switch. We haven't done this uh, in a while because of that ninja over there. We're going to switch Solar and my Dark Assassin. Uh, that way, when the ninja attacks over here, um, I have advantage. And I don't think Sam is going to attack because she has disadvantage. But we'll use Solar. Um, do we want to attack the warrior? Yeah, we got to get that warrior. All right. Um, so I'll attack a flank attack. So I have advantage and a numbers advantage. So I should win that. Uh, however, with a eight versus a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could take a tie here. If I take the tie, I do two damage to the warrior, but then I lose Solar. Now, we'll do the uh, six, seven, eight. We'll, we'll just take the high number four, five, six, five, nine. So we'll, we'll just do the damage, the one damage, and keep my card alive. Um, and that was just only Solar attacked. Uh, Sam is not going to attack. And Dark Assassin is not going to attack. 
Or does he? No, it's just not good right now. Alright, we will just marinate. And I refill my hand, and I think that's my last two cards, so I can't reset anymore. Alright, the nemesis goes. Are there two cards here? Yeah, let's just go like that. Alright, plays a card, it's gonna go over here. And it is a Tinker. Death plays one damage on all players' cards in play. Oof. Oof. Alright. Uh, warrior attacks. Um, he has advantage. Ah, but I win. Right, four, eight, uh, versus uh, four, seven. All right, so I win that combat. Uh, the Tinker here will attack directly here. They're both red types, uh, so they're just gonna, it's basically whoever has the higher stat, and they have the same stat, so it's really whoever just rolls higher. So no advantage die, just red versus blue. Uh, this is just total RNG here, uh, and she won it. Uh, I'm going to assign the damage to Brick here. Again, keeping our, our guys alive. Uh, and then the ninja will attack straight across. Uh, like I planned, uh, Solar will have advantage. And he has a number advantage too. However, uh, a nine versus a seven is no good. Uh, so I'm going to lose. And I could move the damage to Sam. But at this point, it probably doesn't matter. So I either got to choose am I keeping Solar or letting Brick take the damage and die. Or somebody else. Hmm. Who is least useful here? We need a green type for the Tinker, which is what Solar is. We, we need our green types. That's 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 what, uh, no for the green type. We need we need blue, which I have uh, the rat Alexian. Um, I think green was what I had the least. No, blue is what I had the least of, right? I have no more green cards. My green cards are in my discard pile. Shit bits. So I need to keep him alive. All right, we're going to have to let Brick uh, be the one to take the damage. So Brick's going to take the damage. And he's going to die. Putting us at six. I could have maybe let... Actually, maybe I just let the Dark Assassin die. Um, he's just not really doing anything great right now. Um, so we'll let the... We'll use the Fallen Angel's ability. Uh, to move the damage to the Dark Assassin, and he's the one that dies. Doesn't change our point total, though. It was the same. Um, but I think uh, our, our, our Dark Assassin has outlived his usefulness. All right. That was all of their attacks. All right. So back to my go. What am I doing? Uh, we want to take out the Warrior. Right. Uh, we need blue. We need we need green against him, which I don't have. Um, but a blue type is is fine. How do we want to play this? I th do I want to get Sam out of the way? No shit. I'm, I'm in a I'm in a tough bind here. Question is, do I keep Sam out there? And put somebody. I don't want to put Lixia. And Tenley doesn't do that much. Nope, she's she's bad. All right, it's got to be Radalexian. So we'll put the Radalexian. Um, and then I can switch. I can switch the positions, but. It's almost the same. Alright. This is this is just not good no matter which way I cut it. That's the that's the problem here. We're we're in a tough bind. Alright. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let, let's let's try it this way. This okay. 
play him. Uh, we're going to take a chance here. Radalexian versus uh, the Warrior. Um, there is no type advantage. So it's just the dice. Ordinarily, I wouldn't want to take this risk. Yeah, see, and we freaking take a damage there. Um, so Olar will definitely attack here. He's got advantage plus the number advantage. So this should take out the warrior. Yes. All right. But he's dead. Put him here. We technically get a point, but these three cards are going to get shuffled. And please don't be the Vicar. All right, the Conjurer is not that great, but all right, so that put him down to six point. Um, is that correct? One, two, three, six. All right, good, good, good. All right, so that Vicar did not get uh, resurrected, which I was afraid of. All right, because that would have been a huge setback. All right, that was. Who, who did the attack? That was Solar that did that. Uh, does Sam attack? She is not going to. That's not good for her. And, and Brick cannot. And I've already played a card for the turn. I can't draw anything. I can't reset. So I am done with my turn. And uh, the Nemesis goes. There is no start of turn effects. Uh, so put this out. And it plays the Conjurer. All right. The Tinker will attack. Uh, she's good against green. Uh, my rat Alexian is has a type advantage against her plus the number advantage. So actually, this is gonna work. Uh, should work really good. Uh, I can always still lose, but no, we definitely hit her here. The conjurer will attack to Sam. Sam actually has an advantage, but uh, not a numbers advantage. All right, but I have advantage, which is almost always good all right the conjure gets a four five six sam also gets a six uh so it's a tie um i could assign that damage to brick but that'll kill him and sam can't survive with that so we'll let it be uh and then the ninja will attack over here to solar and solar has the type advantage so all good plus a slight number advantage all right a three four loses to my seven so one damage to the ninja all right all right uh we had our backs against to the wall we still do but uh things have evened out a little bit here uh, although we are we are running out of resources how many cards do they have left there they're they're low too all right we need to kill what we need to get we need to kill for we need to kill the ninja and the tinker all right, so who's good against blue? Only Solar. Uh, who's good against red? Um, only the Red Alexian. Wow, that's that's just not good. Um, we kind of can't allow Sam to die. Oh shit, we're in, we're in trouble over here. Um, because I kind of would like to use the Red Alexian to heal. Uh, What's happening over here? Four versus two. And when the Tinker dies, he's going to deal damage to all of us. And when the Ninja dies, he deals damage to all of us. I don't know if we can win this. Um, but if we kill them both, she won't resurrect anything. Um, we just have to be successful here. And not lose a lot of cards. All right. How are we going to do this? Um... We actually might have been better off not spreading the damage around. All right. How many attacks can we get on the Tinker here? I would like to kill the Tinker first, if at all possible. No, not really. I want to kill the Ninja first. I'm lying. Uh, the Tinker kills all... Shit, we can't kill the Tinker. The Tinker will basically wipe out all of our cards and force us to lose. I think we've lost. I think we've lost. Um, and... If we go after the conjurer, which we don't have any, we only have, well, actually, hmm. There's a plan formulating here. Um, did I switch this turn? I, 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 that was last turn, right? Um, I switched back. I heal Rad Alexian and then I use him to keep pushing damage onto him with the Fallen Angel's ability. 
And then I use my red cards to try to kill uh, the conjurer. So this guy we use this combat to be uh, well. First, we got, we gotta play a card. Uh, kinda doesn't matter who we play now because either one their abilities not good. So we're gonna just use uh, Tenley here. God, I wish I could reset her. That would let me switch the cards around I need. All right, we're gonna put her here. We're going to do a switch. Do we need to switch? Maybe we don't need to switch. At least not right there. Um, we will switch here then. Tenley will go here. Sam will go back here. All right. The Radalexi is not going to attack, and instead he's going to use his ability to heal himself. All right, he's not attacking. Uh, Tenley can attack here because she would have a advantage. But not if the other card rolls higher. Solar. Does he attack the Tinker? Kind of don't want him to. We'll attack the Ninja. We'll attack the Ninja. I have type advantage. Everybody rolled ones, which means, but I still have a higher point. So uh, the Ninja's at two. All right. All right, all right. And that is all there. And we are done. I can't draw anything. All right, the nemesis goes. I, I think we're going to lose. All right. Oh, God. The, the druid remove one damage from all minions in play. So she won from you, one from you, and one from you. And now the tinker will attack uh, to the Radalexian. Uh, I have a type advantage. That, that might have been good, except I, I really wanted to kill the Conjurer. Uh, the Tinker has a 4, 5, 6. Uh, I have a 4, 5, 6, 7. So Tinker takes the damage. Conjurer will attack over here. Uh, I have the type advantage again. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 versus a 4, 5, 6. God damn it. That Conjurer is like, kicking my ass over here. And then the Ninja will attack over here. Again, I have advantage. I've set it up, but it seems like it hasn't been. All right. I win that for sure. Uh, and Ninja's about to die. All right. We the And then the Druid can't attack. Okay. Uh, back to my turn. Um... Well, because he doesn't have anything to heal. We'll attack with him last if, if there's an opportunity. Um, all right, Tenley has to go after this Conjurer. Right? Let's do that first. So Tenley goes after the Conjurer. Come on. All right, I think I won that. 10 versus 4, 5, 6. All right. We dealt a damage to the Conjurer. Although, yeah, because I think if I kill these two, I lose the game. So, um, and then so I'm, I probably should leave this alone, but let's go Solar versus the Ninja. Uh, what is that? Six versus much more than six. All right, I kill him all right death each player must place one damage on one of their cards let's put this over here real quick he's at eight um who will i put the damage on i will put the damage on the rat alexian who i have not attacked with yet and then i will use his combat ability to heal himself right i didn't use it already did i uh Put down in the comments if I did or didn't. I don't think I did. I think that's why I I, I wanted to save him for last, uh, for that uh, chance. Um, she attacked. He attacked. Nobody else can do anything. That is my turn. All right. Uh, technically, technically this this card is on here. So let's let's just leave that for now. All right. Plays the card. That's their last one. Uh, oh god, I just killed us here. Necromancer, take the bottom card of the Nemesis discard and place it on top of the Nemesis deck. Uh, so, 
that's a one point card so boom so they're back to seven so we need to get three points now shit all right the tinker is going to attack this could be, well no this, this is not going to end it just yet although if we can kill the necromancer that's the three points we need all right uh tinker attacks uh four versus a two and i have advantage i gotta like not lose these battles all right, Radalexian definitely wins that. So, boom, there. The Conjurer will attack uh, Tenly over here. Um, again, I have advantage. I win that. So, boom, there. And then Necromancer will attack over here. Uh, and fortunately, I do have advantage as it turns out. So, let's put those dice together. It's a four versus four. Um, but I have two dice versus is one, um, four, five versus a six. So you take the damage. All right. There is hope. There is hope. I need to take out the Necromancer now. How can I do that? He is blue type. The only one that's good against blue is Solar. If... I put Tenly where if I put Tenly where the Radalexian is, if we switch, then she has a chance at attacking four versus four, but he has a type advantage. If she loses, I could move the damage to the Radalexian and then he heals. But then I probably get smoked uh, every other way. But that's my own, I think that's my only shot at killing the Necromancer now. If I don't kill him now, then we're basically done. Because if I keep it as is, if I keep it as is, though, we are at advantageous. Maybe I keep it the way it is because, so I can take a risk and hope that we win but it's not a good risk that's i guess that makes the decision that it's not a good risk and we win now by killing the necromancer but we we don't have a very high likelihood of that if we stay as is all our cards have advantage and we should win the combat and the warrior ruins it because the war that's a warrior right we knew that was the warrior was it the warrior was it the warden I can technically look because it was there. So the Warden screws everything up because the Warden will go there. The Warden will go there and is basically just going to be absorbing all the damage uh, that we do, which would then... Um, that could work, though, because we don't want the Tinker to die, and the Warden will absorb that damage from it, giving us... All right, maybe we hold tight. Maybe we will hold tight. All right, um... Discretion is the better part of it. We could take one attack here. So Solar will attack one. Boom. Right, 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 right. Okay. And if he loses by mistake, like which I think he just did, eight versus six, um, that would kill him. But we use our Fallen Age ability to put a Radalexian, and Radalexian was uses his ability to heal. Okay. So that failed. Oh, that was not good. All right, and we now we just got to hope. Now we just got to hope. And nobody else attacks. All right. Uh, Nemesis goes, puts the Warden into play. And so the Warden is going to basically take any damage um, that the minion take. All right. Starting with the Tinker, uh, we have advantage, right? Yes. So boom, roll the dice. Uh, we win that fight. Uh, the damage would go there, but... Uh, the warden takes it over here. Hmm. That warden really just screwed everything up because I just realized when she dies. Oh, when she dies, that's not the game. That's not it. Because that's six. Wait, what is our total? Three, four, five. Six, seven, yeah. I counted right. And that will put at eight. 
we, we need the necromancer to die and that's not gonna happen um, the tinker attack the conjurer will attack I, I think we're just prolonging the inevitable here um, a four versus four but I have type advantage uh, I win the fight again the damage will get shuffled to the warden right it's any when any man in the same battlefield takes damage during combat please damage this card is all right and then the one that we want to attack uh, or we want to damage the necromancer he's gonna attack again we have the advantage uh, please us win let's see what we got he's got a seven and we had an eight right I, I couldn't map for a second uh, and then of course the damage is gonna go to you here although I just realized I did, uh, I, th I think I did something wrong. <laughs> the warden should not have been resurrected because there was no deck left. There was no deck left. So we need to recant here. The warden would not have been resurrected uh, because you can't interact with an empty deck. Um, so uh, what are we doing here? This is plus one. So the conjurer would have died the conjure would have died putting another point this would have came up she would have attacked uh, four versus four she has the advantage um, I think she wins that nine yeah um, we will use our Fallen Angel's ability to put that on the Rad Alexian. And then this guy would have attacked. Uh, he lost, right? Which we were putting on there. So he's he's on there. That's the correct way. Sorry that I, uh, I have to recant. But this is the first time I'm kind of playing this on live, essentially. All right. And that was their turn. And uh, when the conjurer died, we played the top card Nemesis deck, but there wasn't any. Okay, so we are we just got to kill one more card. Uh, so then it'll go over to our turn. And I don't think we shift anything around other than uh, we just try with um, Solar. And I think we win here. Eight uh, versus nine. So that's the final. We don't win. Let me make sure. Three. No, we do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And technically, she would resurrect, but there's no deck left, um, so she can't resurrect them. Uh, so that is that is the win. Uh, I definitely made a lot of mistakes. Um, we will do some more playthroughs of this and hopefully I won't uh, make as many mistakes. Uh, if you found them, uh, please put them down in the comments. Uh, any critiques, uh, let me know. And if you would like to try the game out and get together, uh, send me a message and we'll work something out because this part is not uh, publicly available. But if you want to support the game, go to our website and uh, you can sign up and get a free PDF of the uh, base two player game. And the two player game is also available on Tabletop Simulator right now. You can find the link in the description. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.